look at that thing. You can tell a ball is doing a lot of good things when it hits the pocket and turns that head pin kind of sideways and lets it just roll back through the pins. What's up guys, Brunsnick's back and this is the Intense Mindset. An all pearl cover sock HK22 Evolution Pearl wrapped around the original Mindset core. Now I can't wait to see what this one does out on the lanes for me with Specto running of course. But before we get into all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's see what this intense mindset does out on the lanes. All right, it's time to check out the intense mindset. Finally, this big core from Brunswick gets a pearl cover. So we've had mindset, perfect mindset, and now it's intense mindset. We had a pearl, finally. Had the solid to start, great ball on tour, great ball for breaking down lanes, the hybrid, which is kind of your go-to ball when the lanes start to break down, you want something still to control the pattern, and now you got your pearl. So I'm hoping to see a lot more skid flip, a lot better from inside angles where the other ones maybe were a little bit lazy. So that's what I'm hoping to see. We're gonna get to it. Please check out the merch on Inside Bowling HK22. We put that stuff on everything, baby. So let's start it out. We're gonna start on 15 board, play it straighter. Colors, very traditional looking ball from Brunswick, I think. Very, uh, just regal looking colors. Okay, first shot. You never know what to expect. And got down the lane pretty darn easy. Snapped that 10 back, recovered hard. So original core like we talked about with that mindset has that really low RG, 2.487. Differential 050 and intermediate of 021. So pretty high on all accounts. 050 is medium, medium high. 021 is definitely on the higher side. So we're looking for a quick change of direction on this ball. So it comes out the box, compound finish, pretty shiny. So we're gonna see what happens as we start to move in. This might be a ball that maybe benefits from maybe a little bit more surface, but I think for the time being, we're gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna touch it this video. But typically with pearl bowling balls, I like to scuff the shell a little bit. Better shot. Here it comes. Okay. Still that snap 10 hit. I'm kind of just playing up the board, not trying to hit it super hard, not trying to create a lot of ball motion, just letting the friction kind of take it and go off to the side there. Let me try one more shot there. I think I can get it through the pins. You know, so far I'm seeing a lot of easy length. I'm not really trying to force it through the front, it's just getting through the front. So with that HK22 package in it, it really helps the ball get down the lane. That's just uniformly across the board. Oh yeah, just a little tweak with my hand position at the bottom, made that ball spark off that spot. That ball looked really, really good right there. So it's time to move. So we're gonna move five left with my feet. We'll be standing 20. Flare's pretty darn good as you would expect. With the 050 starting, who knows what it goes to after, but I gotta imagine it jumps up a little bit. All right, so standing 20, a little bit of swing. I think we're gonna really see what this ball's made of. This is gonna be a good spot for it. Wow, a lot of length, almost got that kick on the seven. So when we're bowling on crown jewel pattern, it's a 43 foot pattern, so pretty long, a lot of oil in the middle. So as we start to play through that kind of muck, the ball just instantly wants to skid through the front and that's what we're seeing. So I'm gonna bring the speed down a little bit, get around the side of it more and play to my strength. We're not trying to overthrow it. If I just worry about just catching it at the bottom, applying the rotation, this is gonna be a fun ball to throw. Like that. Yep. Every ball has got a key to unlocking its potential. And sometimes you figure it out really quick. Sometimes it takes you a little while, a couple practice sessions, and sometimes you never figure out a ball. We've all had those where we're just like, I just can't figure out this ball. I don't match up. I don't really like it. That's going to happen once in a while. Happens to me on the golf course all the time. I don't match up with any putter I've ever bought. They don't make any putts. They're all defective. 
All right, I'm gonna throw one more shot in there because, um, oops, I'm too far left. We're on 20, not 25. I'm so excited to get left. But yeah, that's the key is just letting the ball come off my hand, get around the side of it, but don't try to force it. Just let the friction take over. Yeah, all right, I don't mind that. So not trying to amp the ball down the lane, not trying to force the ball through the front because it doesn't need the help. This ball does all the work for me. So let's move now, we'll get to 25. And I think this is probably gonna be one of the best spots on the lane for me, if I had to guess. And we're gonna find out. So it would be 10 left now, 25 starting with my foot. And I'm gonna do that same thing, not try to overthrow it, just get around the side. Look at that thing. You can tell a ball is doing a lot of good things when it hits the pocket and turns that head pin kind of sideways and lets it just roll back through the pins. That's when you know the ball is just cutting through the pins and continuing. It's still hooking when it hits the pins. This ball is fantastic. Liking to see this skid flip ball from Brunswick. Intense mindset. All pearl, just letting it go. Here it comes. Yep. Look at that thing. It did the same thing with that one pin. Just turned it sideways and kicked it through. Amazing ball. All right. Nothing really left to do but keep moving left. So we're going to move five more. It'll be 30 with my foot. And keep on the same thing. We're going to see if this ball ever cries uncle. I don't know if it's going to. Uh, but this racket might. I don't know. So we're on 30 now. Give it a little swing. Just gotta make sure I just tempo down, get around the side of it, let it do its thing. Get up. All right, that one pushed through the front. As you move in and open up the angles, you get over more oil. So it didn't see the dry until a little bit later down lane, came in behind it, wrapped a 10. And this is where that surface that I talked about, because typically when I'm getting into a ball like intense mindset is a little bit later in the block when the friction has already been developed out there and I'm trying to move way farther left. All right, let's try it again. I think if I just hit that friction a little bit sooner, I'll be fine. Like that, here it comes. Yeah, like I said, some balls you just figure out pretty quick how to make them work, where they really light up. And this one is easy projection. Get around the side of it, get that axis rotation more. Let that ball come off the spot hard. All right, last move. We're gonna move five more. We'll be 35 now with my foot, 20 left from where we began. And I'm not gonna change a thing, really. Speed might come down. A little bit, but just get it out there, not try to overthrow. Oh, that's too much. Overdid it. <laughs> See? Even when I think it's gonna hook too early. So I got that one to the dry too early, got around the side of it, maybe grabbed it. But hey, it said, no problem, dude. I got you. Got you covered. So that was a miss. And the ball still said, we're good. I'll strike for you. That's when you know you got a good ball in your hands. One more shot from here. Let's do it up. A little better off my hand. What a ball. What a ball. Incredible. All right. So now's the time when I move back right usually and find the best spot where I thought the ball shined the best. And really, I mean, take your pick because this ball performed at all different angles and did so in a manner that was just fantastic. I don't know, I'm gonna go back to 25, I guess. It doesn't really matter, but we'll go 25. And I'm just gonna throw my normal shot, watch this ball do its thing and finish this video.
all day. I mean, it's crazy how much this ball strikes. I'm not even trying. I mean, I figured it out pretty early on. And I just stuck to my guns and just kept that same tempo, kept around the side of the ball. And that's what I got with the intense mindset. Really made this pattern look silly. So that's all for the intense mindset. If you like what you saw, please drop me a line. I read all the comments. I respond to most, but check out the merch inside Bowling. Really appreciate it. So thank you for all the support. Please subscribe. See you on another video.